Hey friends, today we are hanging out at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. I am so excited. It has been a dream of mine to come here all of my life and we did it. We are here. I'm so pumped. I'm going to be roaming around the convention, checking out all the different halls and booths and trying to gather all the news about Marvel and Star Wars and basically documenting my very first experience at a San Diego Comic-Con. Anywho, let's go do this. San Diego Comic-Con is the original Comic-Con and a lot of people will even say it is the world's best Comic-Con and it's so popular one time they sold over 130,000 tickets in under 60 minutes like that is insane and look at all these people here everybody's excited I mean I'm excited to see what news Marvel is going to release and Star Wars it's gonna be such an amazing day and I'm gonna try to capture everything and just enjoy San Diego Comic-Con is basically everything I love in one place. Everything from Disney to Marvel to Star Wars to Pokemon to anime to Jurassic Park. Like, it's everything I love. And I'm here with Roosevelt's, my favorite shirt company, because they have a booth here this year and they're selling exclusive San Diego Comic-Con shirts. And I'm wearing one right now and I'm so excited. We're going to check out their booth and it's going to be an amazing day. Captain Spidey. Is that what we're going to go for today? Or is it the American no, Spider? That's just what I've been hearing. Yeah? Well, which one do you prefer? I just say Spider-Man X Captain America matches. But... I like that. But it looks fantastic. You look amazing. You. It looks really, really awesome. Honestly, it's just cool to be able to come here and see all the different cosplayers and people bounding. It's really amazing and they go 100%. They look fantastic and they wait all year round and they all just look amazing. So I'm going to try to point out as many as possible. You guys just look fantastic. Oh, that's perfect. I appreciate your pink Crocs though the most. The pink, cr <laughs> the pink Crocs, but what do you have in your holster? Oh, you got a Forky! <laughs> Aww, that is the best! I got a Disney contract now, so... Thanks, thank you, Mr. Pohl. Yeah, I got a Disney contract. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was like... It being Thursday, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of, like, big announcements on the first day. I do think Marvel and DC and Disney and stuff like that, they will eventually, like, you know, release like some information about upcoming projects and movies and comics, but that's not going to be later into the weekend. And uh, today is just about the show place and all the different vendors and shopping around and stuff like that. So I'm very like uh, intrigued to see what we're going to get into. Like I said, I'm going in blind at this point and uh, I'm not too sure how well it's going to work. Like I showed you guys before, there are a lot of people attending San Diego Comic-Con this year. And one of the rules are you have to have a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination to go in, like to actually attend the uh, San Diego Comic-Con convention. And this is the line right here. Look at it. It's like a mile long and you have to show them either proof of vaccination or a negative test verification. And then you get a wristband and then you're allowed to come and then get in the gigantic line here. This is a big, big deal. I showed my vaccination and a negative test and they gave me my wristband and they also asked everyone to wear a mask. So I'm going to be wearing a mask too and we're going to head on in. We're going to start. We're going for it. I guess a Comic-Con wouldn't be complete without a couple of Spider-Mans. How are you? Or maybe three Spider-Mans. You get the point, you know? You know? Of course. I, I, I feel like a lot of people have been coming up to you since you're two and like trying to be the third. But can I be? Can we do like the point? Thank <laughs> you. Once you get your credentials, as soon as you walk in the door, you actually have to scan them here. Bing, bing, bing. And then you're good to go. And that's kind of how they check it. Isn't that really awesome? I don't think I've seen anything like that. Here is a grand overview of all the different halls and pavilions and levels. And it is so massive. It's big. It's gigantic. Definitely you can get lost in here. So find out where you want to go and then try to map it out. Uh, you know, there's a lot of like famous spots, of course. Uh, hall H, that's where Marvel usually will make their big announcements. Uh, the D Hall is where... Uh, we're going to be spending most of the time today at the D Hall because that's where all of uh, the vendors are at. That's where Roosevelt's are at and you can actually go through and check everything. They have all different areas where you can get props checked. 
so you can bring it in as cosplay. And also, they have a FedEx on site, so if you buy anything, you can actually ship it home so you don't have to carry it around. And I think that's really awesome. We're gonna start our day here in the D Hall and look at all of this amazing Star Wars memorabilia. You got Vader up there, you got Boba Fett. I'm so excited. And also the Roosevelt's booth is over here and we're gonna be going around giving away some of those San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Roosevelt shirts. So that's gonna be really, really fun. And I'm just overall, I'm, I'm a little excited and a little overwhelmed because I just don't know what to do first. It's kind of like you're just walking around and you're like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, and you just want to do everything, but then you don't do anything. You just stand in one spot. And that's kind of what's happening right now. Seriously, I was just standing here and I was like, ooh, Star Wars, ooh, Power of the Grayskull, Hot Wheels. Like, I just get overwhelmed. Like, there's so much happening. And this is just the, a tiny fraction, a very tiny fraction of everything they have to offer. I think I'm gonna head on over to the Roosevelt's booth, show you guys the Star Wars exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con. Like I said, do a little giveaway, and then I'm gonna find a new mask. I wanna do some shopping, I wanna check out the different booths, and like I said, giveaway shirts. All right, here we are, the Roosevelt's booth, and I'm so excited. Look at these amazing Star Wars shirts, and each day they're gonna have a special San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, like I said, and that one is the exclusive for today, but this whole other line actually launches today. So, like, you can buy them. I'm gonna put a link in the description, but these are amazing, aren't they? I love this one. This one is so awesome, but this one is exclusive, like I said, for San Diego Comic-Con. So we're gonna take some of these shirts and we're actually gonna go around and give them away to people. Oh my God, oh, I want this one. This one's amazing. This whole entire pavilion is the Disney Lucasfilm Pavilion. And like I said, obviously we talked about the Roosevelt shirts, but they have so much more. Everything Star Wars, and I like it. I like the fact that the carpet's black too. You notice whenever you go into certain like pavilions, they'll have like red carpets and black carpets, and it's just fun. It adds to the effect, you know? But there's so many amazing like merchandises and things that you can buy. I'm just like, <laughs> all over. You got some pinball over here too. Look at that, arcade one up. Bring the arcade experience home. I wouldn't mind playing a little pinball. Now it's time to go explore around. Like I said, we have a couple of Roosevelt shirts we have, so if we see anybody wearing a cool cosplay or something, we're gonna give them away and just enjoy the floor, enjoy D-Hall. We're in D-Hall. You want a D-Hall? Hey, we love your cosplay. It's fantastic. Do you want a free Roosevelt shirt? We have a bunch of Star Wars. Yeah, an exclusive Roosevelt just because you got an awesome cosplay. Do you like Roosevelts? They're, they're really awesome. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool. What shirt do you want? We have this one of our new ones. This one's small. This one's the cantina one. We also have, you like this one? You want this one? I love your voice box too. Wait, where's the speaker at? Oh, it's down here? Yeah. I love it. That's the one, man. Yeah, you want this one? Yeah. All right. I love it. Awesome, man. Thank Enjoy you. the shirt. Awesome. Yeah. That was so awesome, giving away a shirt like that. You couldn't hear it much, though, because his voice box, he was actually using, like, a Vader voice box. And that was awesome, though. What a great feeling. We didn't do more. Well, there is a gigantic porg walking through comic-con and that's all i needed for today thank you porg mr porg i say mr porg that is too amazing look at this that's the best thing ever hey friends i california i love it <laughs> yep i mean there's a porg <laughs> One thing I noticed, there are a lot of spinny wheels here. Like tons of things that they give away for free. And I like that. Like I could walk out of here with souvenirs that I never even had to pay a bag full of souvenirs. Wow, this is actually a really cool thing that you get to do here. You get to play a little tattoo roulette. You place your arm in the drop, the crowd spins the wheel, and karma picks your tattoo. That is intense. I mean, I love that though. I don't think it's, it's just ink box, so it's like a temporary tattoo too but that's still really fun the line for it seems a little long though because a lot of people want to get tattoos i don't blame them thank you 
Well, thank you. Look at that. Free stuff. I don't even know what this is. Okay, I feel like this is something I definitely got to wait in line. They have a Nerf exhibit, and I'm all about this. Look at this. You get to shoot Nerf guns, and they have a Nerf like mascot here. Oh, I'm doing this. How are you today? All right, what do we call you, Mr. Nerf? Mr. Nerf, I, I like it. Nerf Murph. Nerf Murph. Nerf Murph. I like it. That is very awesome, man. Very cool. I'm gonna hop in line. What do you hop in line here? Yep, I'm game. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shot off like a fully automatic Nerf gun before, but it sounds fun, so I'm waiting for it. Look at this thing. Nerf Pro Gel Fire, 10,000 Gel Fire rounds. This is so exciting. Look at it, it's like rapid fire in there. These like gel fire, like gel pellets come out so fast you can't even see them. Move and strike, move and strike. Keep moving, keep strike. Keep strike. Hit your target, don't let your target hit you. All right. Awesome. Look at all those targets. Give it a strike, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. That Look at that cool thing, awesome. oh yes. Thank you. You're very well. I'm not gonna lie, that Nerf gun was amazing. I would never be able to keep up with the amount of gel bullets I would need because I would just go, I would go crazy with it. And it goes so fast. Look at this awesome WWE exhibit here. I am so pumped. Look, the no holds barred figurines. This is so awesome. This is my childhood right here. I love that. And then they also have like some really cool Hasbro figures over here. And I'm just like super pumped. I gotta explore everything. Like, wow, look at this. That is awesome. This is really, really cool. Just seeing everything out and about and just the history and like evolution of like WWE and WWF. Look at these figurines right here. That is, that's, so, that's cool. And then we got some Nitro. Some Nitro figurines here. I had these guys too. Today is Thursday, so it's the first day. And I'm gonna be here for all four days. I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. We're just gonna wing it and, uh, you know, like wish for the best. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna have fun, go around and explore and share my experiences with you. Right here is the Lego Pavilion and they're actually giving away Lego sets in these awesome vending machines. You actually line up to play them and uh, you play a game and you win a Lego set and the top three scores a day win a $100 like store credit to buy stuff at the retail location. That's really cool. You know a lot of people love Legos and the line isn't too bad because you have one, two, three, four, you have four different machines so it goes quick. It's a lot better than just one big spin wheel, you know what I mean? I needed to actually take a quick break and hop outside and just kind of get composure. Usually, whenever I come out and like make a video, I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit of a subject matter expert, but this being my first Comic Con, I am like so like overwhelmed with things that I just get so excited about. And I'm trying to put together a really interesting video for you guys to enjoy, but at the same time, just be in all of its wonder. And it's, it's a delicate balance, but I'm having the greatest time ever. And a little bit in like, a, actually a couple minutes, we're actually gonna be able to interview uh, celebrity chef Justin Warner and he is really awesome because he works with Marvel and if you ever seen him do the eat the universe It's fantastic. Like I love that they come up with so many different things like Luke Cage snack mix and uh, We're gonna be able to interview him and I think that's such an awesome opportunity Look at this That's got to be one of the best cosplays I've seen here today. Thank you so much. I love it. Hey friends, today we're hanging out with Justin Warner, celebrity chef, right here. Marvel's Eat the Universe. Yeah, yeah. life is good. And uh, of course, I'm styled out in Roosevelt's. Yeah. Uh, I love their Marvel line. Uh, they actually did uh, a line with me for my ramen shop. I know, I was talking about it. I'm excited. It's pretty tight. And uh, yeah, not bad for ramen shop in South Dakota. You know, like, 
I just love everything that they do, you know. To me, it's like a great way to articulate my fandoms and, and still look fresh doing it, you know. That was really cool to interview Justin like that. I mean, I'm not a news anchor or anything like that, but I felt pretty fancy. And we talked about things that we both like, so it was very cool. And we got to do it at the Roosevelt stand. I'll put a link for his shirts in the description so you guys can check them out. And it's really cool. I can't wait to wear one of them. You'll see them in a video. They're Romian Roosevelt. That's all I have to say. Look at how awesome this is. Casper Van Dien, actually if you guys ever watch Starship Troopers, which is one of my all-time favorite movies, they're just doing autographs for free. You just go up and you grab some, and I'm gonna go try to say hi to them. Look at this. I want to be in it. All right, hold on. Look at this. This is a job, right? This is a job! This is a job! Hoorah! Hoorah! Yes! Oh, thank you. I cannot believe me and Casper just hoorahed. If you guys ever seen Starship Troopers, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that was really, that was really awesome. And look, I got all their autographs. That is the coolest thing ever. Like, I thought that you'd have to wait in long lines and you know, you have to pay a lot of money, but I just walked up and he was just there and he's just like, get in here. And uh, that was the best. And I got his autograph, like, holy moly. Oh, and then look, very, very nice. Oh. Well, it's gonna be really hard to top the hoorah that just happened, but take a look at this awesome shag store i love the art in here and i love the fact that the uh, store itself has like a shag carpet like it is really nice lots of batman and i love how you have the joker and mr penguin but this one right here is one of my favorites walt and jose look at that 700 dollars for that that is such a cool that's walt disney presents the uh, enchanted tiki room because Walt paid for that out of his own pocket. It wasn't in the budget, so it's really awesome to see that. Look at the size of the Nickelodeon Pavilion. They've got Monsters High, SpongeBob SquarePants, and it's really cool because most of the stuff has games and giveaways, and then they have some amazing photo opportunities. This is really cool, and you actually get to meet some of the uh, characters that actually voice some of your favorite like cartoons. The Rugrats are right here. I know we got Tommy Pickles there. That is so awesome. Oh, wow. The line is definitely a little bit long, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to hop into it. Now I wanna look around for some Disney like artwork. I know that I've seen a couple of places that potentially sell it, so I'm gonna go look around the artist alley and see if we can find anything. There we are at the Artist Alley. And right over here they have Heritage Auctions, which I'm thinking we might find some like really cool like Disney animation. You're gonna have to see, of course you have comics. Oh look, see, animation art. You got Lady and the Tramp down there. Just look and see what they have. It looks like they have mostly anime, but I did spot this really awesome Nightmare Before Christmas animation right there. $2,500 pre-auction estimate. That looks actually really cool. And they also have a Mary Blair. They do have some artwork, but they're actually known for their awesome auctions that actually saw, like sell some amazing Disney props. They had this big one recently, May 21st to the 22nd, 2022. And look at, look at, these are the actual ride vehicles from Disneyland that they actually sold. That is mind blowing. And there are so many things that you can buy. Oh my Lord, you can buy a piece of the Walt Disney World Railroad. I would have loved to bet on that. Oh, I didn't know this even existed. It has all the Disney signs to it. This is fantastic. Fort Wilderness right there. A little Splash Mountain sign with the McDonald's. Wow. This is some cool stuff and some big figs. Now I'm hooked. I signed up to actually get all of the information whenever they send it out. So you know I'm gonna be, you know I'm gonna be buying a, quite a few things. That was actually really cool. I love going through and seeing a lot of those items. Now they didn't have them here. Today they're mostly doing a big anime sale, but now I got another place to check out. I think it's time to take a little break and maybe grab something to eat. So let's try some of this fine San Diego Comic-Con food here at the Cafe Express. Looks like we got chicken sandwiches, chicken fingers. Gatorade, Gatorade. Holy moly, San Diego Comic-Con food is more expensive than theme park food. It is like, wow, the prices are so high. 
just to basically summarize it, any of these little sandwiches here are $10. So just a regular hamburger, $10. Like that's crazy, isn't it? I might actually do it though. I'm, it's crazy enough that I'm gonna try it. Hot dog, $10. Personal pan pizza, $12.50. Alright, I have secured the goods, but I don't think there's anywhere to sit down and eat it. <laughs> All the tables are taken up here. There's not many tables, but uh, there's multiple cafe expresses around, so we'll have to go look-see. But all this food, I mean, it's not a lot of food, but I had to try the hamburger. It cost me $33. I'm excited to try the hamburger, though. Let's take a look at this. Oh, nice little brioche bun. I, I like the brioche bun, but... It's just like a frozen like, Sam's Club hamburger patty. $11. $11 burger right here. So here we go. Don't taste like an $11 burger. <laughs> I have to say though, for the chicken tenders, they're actually really good chicken tenders. They're like my favorite chicken tenders and I like it. I think Gordon Ramsay would be very upset no seasoning at all on there. <laughs> so I was just told that there is way better food upstairs and the food is like not that great. It's not, it's not the best food, but I mean, it's just like cafeteria food, you know what I mean? But I heard that there's better food upstairs. So instead of forcing myself to eat something I don't like, I think, I think I'm just gonna maybe try something from upstairs a little bit later on and just give up on this. I eat the chicken tendies. The chicken tendies were pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I did like those, but the french fries and the hamburger, it's like, the, you know, you guys know. On second thoughts, instead of getting more food here, I think we're gonna take a break from the convention. It closes at seven, and maybe just head back to the room, get something to eat a little bit later on. It's It's been a very, like overwhelming day. I know I've said that a lot because when you kind of come to something the size of this, like for the first time, it is kind of like a just big shock to you. Like that's how I felt. And I'm like having the greatest time ever, but I feel like there's so much more that I want to do. So I think we're going to take a little break, maybe call it an end here and make our way back over to our hotel. You really do see some amazing things when you come to San Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> wow. I got a hotel that is kind of close to the convention, but I've been Ubering back and forth, and I love the city of San Diego. There is so much happening down here, and I don't think it's just because of the Comic-Con happening at the moment. I think it's just the way that it is. Everything from the billboards to the signs on the building to the planes carrying <laughs> banners through the sky like it's happening right now isn't it just so awesome look you can see interview with the vampire on that building right there and look at all the people everyone's heading out for the convention now everyone's kind of go take a break it's been a long day i've been here since 7 a.m but i've been kind of just like going at it and hanging out at the roosevelt's booth and just having fun the thing with actually using Uber during the San Diego Comic-Con is they close down this main road here. So you have to walk out and use a different pickup location. So you can't just get dropped off here and you can't just like grab a Uber, uh, Uber from here. You actually have to walk away and then order it or get dropped off there. Well, I think I decided since the cafeteria food really wasn't good, instead of going upstairs and checking out other spots inside the convention, might as well just explore around the area down here. I mean, it is so like bumping and full of like nightlife and restaurants. So I kind of want to just explore, you know what I mean? It is so beautiful out. A nice, wonderful day at San Diego Comic-Con. Literally all of this is just like two minute walk from the convention. It's so awesome. I'm, I'm loving the vibe of San Diego. <laughs> the buildings, you get to see all the advertisements. Like they're good advertisements. This is the interview with the vampire, which I'm excited for on AMC. I'm a big Ann Rice fan. And all the different food too, look at this. This is the, like, this is it. This is like a party central. I talked about earlier how we went to like the, the uh, uh, Ready Party 1, Love and Thunder Party, but every single night there's something going on and people are lining up to get into these exclusive events 
and it's like a, a big deal. Like I said, it's a good time. Wow, look at this. This is this is some stuff. Oh, you got Vin Diesel over there, the Mad Hatter. I told you, it's like a non-stop party down here. I feel like I'm in New Orleans during Mardi Gras. <laughs> Honestly, they just closed down the streets. They just shut everything down. <gasps> Look at the dogs. There seems to be a nice little spot up the road here called the Huntress, and I think we're going to try to get in there. And here it is, the Huntress Steak and Whiskey Society. Oh, wow, this sounds like something perfect. Look at this menu. I'm all about the steaks. They got a cowboy bone-in ribeye, 18 ounces for $85. But they also have a prime 35-day dry-aged tomahawk, and that's $6.50. Well, $6.50 an ounce. So I think uh, me and my friend Dustin are gonna split it. We're gonna get a 40-ounce tomahawk. A 40-ounce tomahawk. It's even crazy saying that. You know a steakhouse is top notch when they actually have a steak knife holder on the table. Like that is that is class right there. Look at that. They actually have a steak knife holder. Did you guys know that? I, I assume that's what it's for. Yeah, did you guys know that? That's what I assumed it was for. It's a steak knife holder. Did you guys know that? What's up? He got it in one. He got it in one gas. I didn't know. Wait, you guys didn't know that? What? It's a steak knife holder. See, I did not know that. What? It's fancy. What a change up. We went from this like nasty Sam's Club burger to a 40 ounce tomahawk steak. Like, this is crazy, but I'm so excited. I mean, this is gonna be probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. I feel like I'm gonna call it right now. Watching the guys in the back cook, you can actually, they have an open kitchen. I'm like, they know what they're doing. And oh my Lord, there's a Spider-Man on the back of that cab. It's really important that I show you this because it's blowing my mind right now. But look at that. How awesome is that? <laughs> I have never seen anything like that in my life. Look at that is so cool. I don't know. In the haunted mansion? I'm like, what am I doing with like the uh sexy like It's like a burger. Look at this, here it is. That's the knife box. Oh, wow. What the heck? You want to do a slow motion so you can grab it? Like this? I just want you to do it again. Ooh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> Holy moly. That is what a 40 ounce tomahawk steak looks like. I was not expecting that. Honestly. Look at that jar on there. It is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to take a pizza here. Oh, wow. It looks really good. All right, I'm, ta I'm starting here. <laughs> here we go. First bite. I have the highest expectations for this right now. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that might be the best steak I've ever had in my life. We're not gonna rank this on my steak rankings because it's not like I'm down in San Diego all the time, but this was absolutely amazing. Like, I, I wanna pick up the bone now and just, wow. Holy moly. That is much too good. Much too good for children. Now that the steak business is taken care of, and I have to say, like I said, that is one of the best steaks I think I've ever had. Uh, we're gonna get a little dessert, a little magic mushroom, and this is one of the fancy desserts, so I'm excited to show you guys. Oh boy, here it comes, the smoky mushroom. We have a cassis sorbet on the side is a hazelnut sponge cake. It's all in the bed of chocolate cookie crumble. It's a peanut butter mousse with a huckleberry jam in the middle, held together with a white chocolate shell. Wow. Right, right. It is not a mushroom, though. <laughs> Our external shell is soft on the inside. You know? Kind of like tea. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
Oh, 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 wow. What? I wasn't expecting all that in the inside. Here we go, the magic mushroom. Oh, wow, it is actually really good. I like it. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Shock. The best way to describe it, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yep. Get that candy shell. There you go. Dinner was fantastic. That tomahawk was exceptional. Like I said, I'm not gonna count it. I mean, that was one of the best steaks I've ever had. Like, it's not like my my top little five Disney steaks, but that right there was how it's done. But it was so expensive. But we split it around the table, and oh my lord, so amazing! The the, the magic mushroom was fun. I really liked this place. It was cool to try some of the local San Diego food. Now it's time to head home, call it a night, and reset. To get back to my hotel, I thought it would be fun to actually take one of these like fancy bikes. Look at this. This seems so fun. They have so many of them out here. But there's one that kind of looks like a, uh, like a uh, Cinderella carriage right there. I thought it'd be cool if I did that. I figure also it would be fun to actually kind of look around at the surrounding areas a little bit more. So I think we're gonna do it. I don't know how much it is though, I have to find out. I'm always nervous doing things like this. Oh, look at this. Got some fancy uh, fur here too. <laughs> I'm game, thank you. Got a seat belt, of course. The fare is 15 to $30. Oh, nice. Right. Perfect. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Here we go. Living the San Diego kind of life. <laughs> this is literally so hysterical right now. I'm glowing. I feel like the blue lights kind of make me look like a cartoon character. Doesn't it? It literally looks like I'm a cartoon character right now. Oh, looks like we had a stop. We got a train coming through. Oh, holy moly, here comes another trolley. We've just been sitting here, look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Okay, so that was terrifying. Like he was like going in between uh, the trolley, the, the the trolleys. Like they were telling people to stop, and he was getting stuck in between them. And then there was cars flying by, and it was kind of chaotic. But it was still fun at the same time. But I was definitely holding on for dear life, and it cost me 20 bucks. And I thought it was fun. It was a nice little experience. I definitely would not use that as like a means of transportation because it's way overpriced. I mean, an Uber will cost me like eight dollars compared to that. But at least you get to like enjoy and see a little bit more than you would in a car. But uh, yeah, now uh, I'm gonna head back up to the room and call it a night from there. I love how my hotel has like see-through elevators. Like, isn't that crazy? I don't even know what you call them. Oh, here comes one more. But I have to take these elevators to get up to my other one. And with that, I think we are done for the day. I have been going since last night nonstop, and I'll add a couple of clips on uh, at the end of the video to show you what the uh, Ready uh, Party One uh, Love and Thunder party was like last night. And uh, yeah, we'll do a couple more videos maybe here in San Diego. I wanted to try to do a live stream, so I don't know how well that'll work. But the main thing is to come out, have some fun. I want to bring you guys along with me, but I really do want to enjoy this experience. You know what I mean? I really want to remember it. I mean, now that I've come once, maybe I might come again, but nothing is ever going to be the same since the first time you ever get to do something. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.